the cross is the wisdom of God. As we talk about sin affecting the world, we could have many ideas of how God would want to rescue the world. But God had one thought and God had one plan to rescue and redeem mankind. And that was through the cross of Calvary. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 20 to 25. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God that through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign and Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified to the Jews, a stumbling block and the Greeks foolishness. But to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. These verses talk about a mystery. God chose the cross to rescue mankind. Now this might seem um, like a stumbling block to the Jews who probably expected a, a different sign from God uh, and to the Greeks who were very well versed um, uh, in, in knowledge in their times, they may have expected God to come up with a, a much more intellectual solution. But these verses tell us that God chose the cross which sounded like foolishness to the Greeks and to anyone actually who does not believe the cross uh, may not signify much. However, this is the very wisdom of God. God uh, is, is wiser than the foolishness of men. And so uh, God knew that in the cross, in what Jesus had to do on the cross, uh, there, there is much power that is going to be released. Even when, when Satan schemed and plotted to kill Jesus, uh, he, may, he may have thought that Jesus would never rise from the dead and that would be the end of God's plan. But praise God uh, for the power of resurrection. Praise God for the fact that Jesus rose from the dead and he is alive forevermore. And so the cross of Calvary is God's wisdom and the gospel, you know, we are told, is the power of God and the wisdom of God. It's also the power of God and the wisdom of God because the gospel uh, is what can save us uh, from sin, sickness, hell uh, and death. The gospel is what brings us salvation. It's not our works, it's not our achievements, it's not even what we can offer God. Our best offering to God uh, is, is of no value but Jesus has already done everything through the cross and so there is power in the gospel and the and the gospel is able to set people free and God chose this cross God displayed his wisdom through this cross and today uh, as, as we think about the cross you know may, may our hearts be, be be filled with gratitude in knowing that God has accomplished what we could never have done through his son Jesus and now we are redeemed now we are called the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and the price for our sin has already been paid in full through Jesus who is our perfect sacrifice let's pray together Heavenly Father, we thank you that your ways, O oh God, are higher than our ways, O oh God. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Father, we, we thank you for the cross. Lord, you uh, bore, O oh God, the pain and God, you bore, uh, Lord, the, the sin upon yourself, Father God. Uh, and Father, you were rejected, uh, Father, for those moments by, by the Heavenly Father. And yet, O oh God, through what you did on the cross, Father, you brought every blessing upon our lives. This day, we ask God that your blessings uh, be released upon each one of us. Enable us, O oh God, to, to walk in the fullness of those blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.